thoughts? You guys up 3 0 in the series. I don't think anybody, even maybe you guys, expected that. What, just your thoughts on how this is? Yeah, it's, it's a big surprise. You know, we have a lot of respect for Portland. They're a great team and um, it's going our way uh, so far. But I think we just have to um, stay focused. It'd be great, you know, if we can get uh, this one tomorrow just to, to get some rest uh, because we went a uh, uh, long series against the Mavericks. Can you tell Popovich that you think it's a surprise? Because he didn't believe me. <laughs> <laughs> I think we all we all kind of surprised, and I think that's why it makes us uh, stay focused because it's almost like we like worried that they're going to just come back and, and, and tie the series almost, you know. So I think we just have to stay focused. With that stat on the bench, 140 of 43, are you more impressed with what your bench have been able to do or the fact that no, what they, they haven't been doing? No, they've been playing well all season long. And um, in the first round, you know, I don't know what happened to them, but uh, you know, they didn't play very well. And uh, this round, they're coming back strong and they, they're playing great basketball. And we knew uh, coming into this series, it can be an advantage, uh, the bench uh, for us, because we know Portland, they only play like six or seven guys. You are 100% over that great one spring. Yeah, well, almost, almost. You know, I'm still doing treatment and um, and uh, still a little bit uh, swollen, but uh, it's okay. Um, everybody plays with injuries this time of the season. Generally speaking, uh, uh, how, how is your your overall health? And and Pop talked about when he sat you, it was more for he said you needed a, a, a mental break as much as a um, physical one. So. <laughs> Uh, speak to that. Uh, uh, agree to disagree. Yeah. <laughs> 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 no, I, I love my conversation with Pop, you know, and you know, that's why he's the boss, and uh, he knows he knows better, and uh, he looks at the big picture. Um, you know, even if at the time I, I didn't agree with him, you know, to sit for two weeks, uh, what you want me to say now? You know, <laughs> I, feel, I feel great now, so you know, I just shut up now. Say yes, boss. One game away from the Western Conference Finals again. Yes, it's unbelievable. You know, um, if we if we can get it, you know, three years in a row, so it's a great accomplishment. But you know, in San Antonio, we don't care about that. We want to win championships, and um, even if we make the conference finals, that's not going to be enough. You know, we want to win the whole thing. Sorry not to bring up negatives, but the third quarters have been rough for you guys in the series. What, what's that's yes. a negative? <laughs> <laughs> it's always hard to, to keep a lead, you know, in, in the NBA. Uh, all three games, we were up 20, 26, something like that. So uh, Portland is a good team. They, they're going to make a run. And so, you know, Pop, is, he's going to find some stuff, you know, bad in, in our game because that's his job as a coach. But uh, it's hard to, to keep a lead. And obviously, we're going to watch film and, and see what we can do better. Uh, but we're not going to beat them by, by 40, you know, that's, that's just not going to happen. So um, well, we'll try to do better, but uh, at the same time, uh, they're talented. Speaking of Portland, can it sometimes take a young team time to learn how to win at this level of the playoffs? Is there an experience factor? Yeah, I think that the history of the NBA, you always have to have like veterans, you know, if you want to go far in the playoffs. And uh, they're a pretty young team and they just won an unbelievable series against Houston, you know, starting on the road. and. And uh, their first playoff win in 14 years, so I think it was a lot to take, a lot of emotions, I guess. I don't know, you know. So, uh, if you look at every team who won championships, you know, you need to have veterans in the team, and so that's what we have here in this team. We have experience, we have a good mix uh, between young players and veterans. When you consider what that, that two week break did for you, as it, as it seems, uh, how important was it that Patty was playing so well? Yeah, it's huge. Do that. Yeah, it's huge. Uh, Patty's played great this year. You know, I had a hard time in the first couple of years, you know, to try to find a spot. But uh, this year he came in and uh, he was ready. You know, worked hard in the summer and um, and he looked great. Uh, looked like he had a lot of energy. His shot was falling, and uh, it was great for me because we was able to to do that. Uh, so now it's going to be his turn to play all summer long, and I'll be rested. <laughs> so I'll be waiting for him at training camp. <laughs> Did he come to you at all and ask you anything over the off season or during the season? Yeah, we always talk with Patty. You know, we're very close. You know, we have the same agent, and we go to lunch dinners all the time. And um, he always asks me for advice, and uh, that's my job. You know, I always try to take care. Uh, you know, my backups. You know, I did that since I've been here. You know, George Hill. 
or all the backups that I had. And, and Patty is actually one of the best backup I had for a long time. So he's been playing great basketball this year. He didn't have the time to shoot like he did. <laughs> oh, yeah, he learned that by himself. <laughs> <laughs> he's a better shooter than me. <laughs> Yeah, I think I, l I learned a lot from the veterans when I first came. You know, uh, David Robinson helped me a lot. Bruce Bowen, you know, Malik Rose, they all, you know, always helped me. And um, I think uh, now it's myself, uh, Timmy, and Manu. It's our job, you know, to help the young guys uh, like Kawhi, you know, to take the next step. And and Danny Green, um, Patty, and all the young guys that we have because we can't win a championship if not everybody's playing well. You know, you need everybody. Uh, it takes a whole team. So do you feel like this is the best basketball you've played all year? Yeah, yeah, pretty, pretty close. And uh, now it's the hardest thing is to maintain it, you know, and to try to go all the way. Have you ever given a single bit of advice to Aaron Baines? <laughs> to Aaron Baines? That's Timmy. Uh, <laughs> I can say nothing to Hulk, you know. <laughs> <laughs> on, the court, on the court, is your advice tend to be tactical or is it more? It depends. It depends. It can be. Technical, it can be confidence. I think for Patty, it was more about confidence and feeling comfortable. That's the biggest difference I see this year. He's like super confident. When Batum is defending you, are there times where he anticipates what you're going to do because you guys know each other so well? Yeah, a little bit, a little bit. But um, I'm used to playing against Nico. You know, uh, uh, Portland uh, put him on me uh, all, all those years. You know, like the left since he arrived in the league, they always put him on me. So I'm used to it. Do you like matching up against the yeah, yeah, it's fun. It's fun. I don't mind. All right. Thanks, Thank you, guys. Thank you.